Okay, so, hello viewers, and welcome back once more. So, um, last episode, I mean, we finished the Lionheart campaign, so I guess we're just moving down through the list, and we're moving on to Saladin, um, a four, uh, A Crusader thing Lord has campaign. landed further up the coast, and is establishing a base there. Fortify the nearby Oasis village, and drive them back into the sea. So I guess we're playing a, uh, a fairly similar campaign here, um, just from the opposite perspective. So, I'm not, so I'd imagine that there's uh, actually quite a few different units on this side, so this will be uh, kind of neat to see in action. So uh, once again, I'm just going to play it on the easy difficulty, get these uh, missions morning, through and done with, and we'll I just go with that. I just assure you that since my capture and subsequent months of imprisonment, I am now wholeheartedly on your side. It is a delight to be away from those smelly and unhygienic crusaders, to be sure. So I guess we're doing, like, yeah, a coastal defense mission, apparently. So this will be quite neat. And we have the sole objective of Face killing the... Uh, well, oh, actually, no, we're over... Yeah, we're, our, we are over here. So, never mind. I was going to say that we had the objective of uh, taking down the, uh, the crusaders over... Over here, which have been a which would have been a walk in the park, but I guess not. Uh, um, in that case, I guess this will work. So let's do uh, stockpile. So we'll put that right there. Um, granary will put right over here. And let's see what else do we have to do. And I'm quite sure a rotting turnip would make a better leader. However, he does command a large retinue, and we should allow a little time to build up our forces ahead of confronting him. Alright, so that's quite nice to know. Uh, it looks like, yeah, this campaign will just throw you right into the action. So, my plan is fairly similar to what we've seen before. Yeah, I'm really, really going to prioritize getting uh, the wood chopping done right here. It might be a little overkill, but we're going to try to uh, really game the fact that, like, e like uh, wood is by far the most important thing to have. So we're going to build a whole bunch of things like that. Uh, looks like these guys over here, they actually have a very small selection of buildings. They do a sheep farm though instead of a, I think a pork thing, so that, I mean, that makes sense for the period. They have a market, they have hovels, they have a mosque instead of a, a church, though they use candles nevertheless. Uh, looks like they have a few more, Perhaps um, launchers. And what else? Hmm. I hear they can fire and ride at the same time. I would dearly love to see that. And it looks like their economy is actually simplified. So we have a siege camp over here, but we also have this mercenary post building, which I'd assume just, uh, yeah, more or less produces our guys for free, practically. Not necessarily for free, but for, for very, very cheap. So yeah, um, so that's quite neat. That means that our economy is more so based upon other things than, say, the actual production of weapons. So that's, yeah, that's actually really, really useful. Right, so in that case, let's see. I'm still going to focus on the woodcutting uh, type of deal. But I have a feeling the main thing with these guys is that they need to generate a lot more cash and they need to do it quickly. So uh, let's see. We'll probably need some more hovels here soon enough. And we'll just grab one more right here, I hope. That guy's going to carry 62, just short, just three short. This guy's going to carry enough, so we'll put down a hovel. That's going to get our guys uh, produce, where that's going to produce some more peasants, and hopefully they'll staff this uh, farm. And I think we'll grab a few more farms. Uh, at that point, I think our our food intake should be handled with. And the main thing is that I just want our economy to be fun, where our food to um, to buff up our income here for a short amount of time. And then afterwards, we'll go. And we'll see what we can do about raiding these guys. I'm coming from last time. The game throws us, uh, yeah, throws us a few curveballs now and then, with uh, with the weather and things like that. So I'm seeing uh, what it'll do now. What do they have this time? I have a lot of conscripts actually. Wonder if we can take advantage of that because we have this siege shop open. Oh, actually, we can only build catapults for whatever reason. So that's uh, that definitely hinders some elements of our plan for sure. But um, that might not be, say, the limiter there. Hopefully it's not. And let's see, we have a few apple orchards. We have three sheep farms, so I think I'll invest in a few dairy farms afterwards here. And actually, I guess we can start producing guys right now. So I think we'll just do that. And we'll get a few of those uh, calorie things built just for now 
Let's see, guy. Let's get these guys to make a bit of a raid onto these people. So yeah, they have these forge archers which can fire on the move. So let's ball them up. Let's get uh, let's get six of them perhaps just for now. And I'm gonna see whether or not we can just get these uh, six horse archers to pick off everything that they have uh, outside. Hmm. I want to turn off those sound effects. But either way, uh, with six of these, we're seven of these horse archers. We should be able to pick off one of their conscript dudes every time. So I guess we just, yeah, just drift around these guys, try to take them out like that. So this might actually prove to be quite the easy episode, uh, or quite the easy mission if we just uh, do this. So let them do their thing for now. I'm gonna buy a few more of them. Oh, but that's right, the horse archers are actually also pretty vulnerable. But luckily for us, they don't have too many archers on the walls there. So there we go. They're doing a good job of handling stuff outside the field, though. We're outside that uh, penned-in area, so that's at least good. Now let's get uh, a few more things there. There we go. Oh, no. Well, I guess that's the event uh, for this mission. So we have some set theft, and would you look at that? We picked off the uh, the guy who cuts cuts down the, the trees here, the lumberjack there. So, uh, solid target choice, I guess. Oh, and that's right. Another thing that we can do with the um, with these guys is that they have the these guys should be priests over here. We're healers. Um, I was gonna say that there were priests and they heal people, but that's that healers are more self-explanatory. So what should happen is that these guys should be able to heal up our uh, blob of units. And of course what I plan on using them for is that I just want them to raid the tops of this wall to clear that. And then afterwards I want to bring a catapult over there to siege them down. So uh, hopefully that'll work out in our favor, but we'll see. And ooh, that's right, these guys uh, these guys over here might not have access to alcohol. They don't. They might not use ale as a ration. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll have to only, we're solely depend on the religion thing to get things uh, working over here. That might also be another factor, mind you. Uh, but for now, we're building up a nice, lovely stockpile of logs, so let's grab a few more of these hovels, or huts, or whatever they call them. So we'll, put, yeah, so we'll place them down right there. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. I guess we'll have to. Let's build a granary, and let's put one right there, oxen stand right next to it, that'll give us some um, some more stuff there as well. And I'll see what we can do about bumping up the tax rate here. There we go, we can bump that up to a normal tax rate and keep, uh, kept, keep the happiness the same, so I think we'll just keep it as is. And let's see, so our horse archer should be healed now, yep, yeah, there we go. So we'll grab them back out, and we'll send these guys out for another run. So uh, afterwards, we might want to invest in a in a catapult to just siege down the walls, like maybe over here, and then we can pick off the guys inside. And more or less, I think that'll be uh, just the course of this scenario. There we go. So let's bring our guys over here. The horse archers are probably going to take a few hits. Oh, they're actually taking a lot of casualties over here. Yikes, those archers up there are pretty strong. Hmm. But we'll see what we can do about making a breakthrough. So let's see. Yeah, they don't. They actually don't have a lot of archers posted up on the walls. It's just that our guys, they, uh, they don't have a lot of armor. So with that said, they're pretty easy pickings for them. Try to change that as best as we can, but um, that might be more difficult. Uh, or, yeah. Oh, what are they doing? They're launching a small wave of those uh, peasant guys. So, um, yeah, like the game said, we should probably protect ourselves. These guys are uh, their their units are actually pretty damn expensive. So, we'll see what we can do about perhaps um, getting that mosque built for one, and just in general getting some cash flow into our guys here. 
So, uh, starting off, we'll probably need a few of those candle, candle producing things. So I think I'll put just two there, just because, really. And we might as well get that chain started early, so we'll get a few people producing candles now. And I'll see what we can do about selling those candles, actually, and making, uh, making a quick buck off of those. Now, uh, let's see, we can sell some apples, but not any meat for whatever reason, which kind of sucks. What is this? This is that group of archers and all. Uh, all we want to do with these guys is that they need to pick out the, uh, the archers, because those archers seem to do like area of effect damage to these guys. And afterwards, it's pretty smooth going. And there we go. So that should get rid of the rest. Preparing. So now with the catapult, I'm going to move that up and I'm going to see whether or not we can perhaps take down a few of the wall segments with it. Specifically, I want to aim for, uh, of course, the guys on the... very forward positions on the wall, and I just want the catapult to smash through those. So yeah, that'll possibly do that. Let's see. Grab a few more hovels over here. So that we have some more people to tax, of course. Eager to work. Engineers and would you look at that? That's one guy down. Target this place. And oh, that one went through the wall, apparently. Hopefully we can get a third shot off. Damn, that one was really close. Come on, third shot. There we go. Nope. So we managed to get one archer there. Which isn't great, but I mean, it's not bad. So I guess we just grab another catapult, wheel it up here, and all I really want to do is just exploit the fact that the uh, the, cap the catapult manages to pick off things up there. So uh, once we breach that line, we should be just in in a in a few minutes, hopefully. I'm gonna have to worry about the second line, which uh, which I'd imagine to be slightly more difficult. I think we can get the church down fairly soon, which will be nice. So place that right there. And this thing should, yeah, it sh it'll do the religious services and we'll be able to bump that tax up even higher. So that'll be very, very useful as well. And all we really need to do for the economy at this point is to just have way, way more candle producing things. So I'm going to do uh, just a massive stack of them. And would you look at that? Just a nice, lovely line of people going to work. Mostly because we're going to bump this up to common services and we're just going to try to run uh, services as often as possible just so that we can farm tax rate. So that's the plan right there. I'm going to see whether or not we can build one more, hopefully. That way we can have common services and we can keep them going. Oh, just barely. There we go. Place one, one more and that should help us out there. So let's see. What else do we have to do here? Have to get that catapult up. Where is that catapult? Oh, there we go. That arrived faster than I thought. Alright, so we'll wheel this one over here. We'll try to pick off this archer first. And we'll just uh, really go with it there. Yeah, there we go. Just can't get that guy in the middle right there. And would you look at that? There we go. So at least this is pretty good. We managed to uh, get rid of all of the archers on the front line. And soon enough there will be a gap inside the walls there that our guys can go through. So now... I think it's time for another stack of these... Uh, horse archers once again and guess what we're gonna do we're gonna start to, uh, yeah we're going to make some more raids inside their areas and we're just gonna get that to continue to go forwards just over and over and over again until uh until they lose really oh. sending a few guys out here to match us we might as well uh, get rid of them as well and would you look at that they are all gone now and there, so we made one breach into the wall, and we'll try to go for another location as well. And I just love that effect, that uh, breach in the walls effect, it's quite nice, gotta say. 
أسرع أسرع من الفهد إنه يوم رائع لنمتقي خيولنا نركب خيولنا جهز الخيول and would you look at that so those guys are practically gone so now hopefully what I'll be able to do is uh, just be able to draw out the pack of these uh, these conscripts and all and just dispatch them kind of slowly just kind of more or less from the back here our archers could strike within the enemy castle even before we've gained entry we should order them to unleash arrow volleys that will fly over the walls and rain death upon man, beast, and jester alike. <laughs> oh. Looks like the, uh, the, the European archers seem to be able to outrange our horse archers to a large extent. So with that said, we might want to take that into consideration because those guys seem to do a ton of damage compared to our guys. And would you look at that, we managed to breach into their area, so at least that's pretty good. And right, so now we can just keep the horse archers going, they should be able to keep back the enemy. And because we can just buy so many engineer, uh, we're engineering pieces, we'll just buy a horde of those. Buy some more horse archers, and we'll get these guys up to the front as well. Hey man, the wave of uh, farmers just never stops. So that's just a whole bunch of butchered archers. We're butchered farmers right there. And let's see, how should we get into the second line of defenses here? They they still only have like yeah pretty much just wall archers being their primary form of defense. So what I want to do here is all I want to do is that I just want to bait the uh, the guys in the front here back into our territory. And my archers can handle the conscripts, but my siege equipment oh get the gesture. There you go, pick that guy off. Oh, that's not good. The enemy are attacking. Departing. It's even worse, they're gonna attack us when we have uh, our pants down here. But as I was saying, what I wanted to do there was that I wanted to get rid of all the... Uh, yeah, just effectively everything on the walls there, or in front of the walls there, first and foremost. And then afterwards, once we do that, the... Uh, Mission should become pretty easy. Just notice, there's no archers inside that Valdi. So once we get, so yeah, once we get our guys over there, I think we'll be able to mess them up pretty nicely. Uh, let's see whether or not we can get our income to go even higher. Oh. And there we go. So now we should be able to get the catapults into the uh, the force nice and properly. And we should just be able to rain, yeah, pretty much just rain death on the guys. Oh. oh, what is this? They're building siege equipment now. Try to take advantage of this, try to capture it actually. Huh, the horse archers aren't actually able to damage the siege equipment, apparently. That's kind of weird. Oh, I see, they're launching a uh, secondary attack now. Yikes, we should probably do something about that. So I think we'll try to follow our age-old plan here. Try to keep the enemies back with, uh, with a lot of kiting. So they're gonna go like that. And I think what I'll do is that I'll get the, uh, the armored guys over here to go forwards and take those guys out. We should still have our siege equipment. Man, this is just going back and forth. I wanted my siege equipment to come up here earlier. But yeah, unfortunately, they are not gonna reach. And we try like that, swordsmen just slaughter the archers. 
So that's at least good. Um, we have a lot of wood and a lot of other stuff right now. So for the economy portion, let's just... Uh, I know that's kind of messy, but I'm just going to build a few more of those... Um, of those things, those candle things, mostly because I'm going to stack some more population onto our uh, onto our humble abode here, and that should bump up the tax rate even further, as long as we have the people to support it. So yeah, that'll be that. Uh, with that said, we might want to invest in some more food opportunities as well, and it looks like dairy is one of the things that we're short on, so I'm going to build, I think, Not enough wood, my lord. yeah, four of these things to just put down more dairy. Moving catapult. And yeah, we'll just let them do their thing. And let's get these guys to make a raid. Oh, there's actually not a big enough hole here for these things to get through. There we go. Right, so now let's come in here with catapults. Siege down a good amount of the uh, stuff over here. And that'll be that, really. So, let's see. Let's give our guys some preparing. targets over here. Ready, At your disposal. Preparing, preparing. You need something. I right, just get What's one archer. I right, just get two of them. Preparing. Our tools are ready. And three. At your disposal. Preparing. So this isn't Preparing. going badly. And hopefully we have we'll have enough uh, strength here to batter down the fourth. And oh, all we had to do is just keep the. Uh, these uh, these conscripts away just until that tower falls down. So there we go. Preparing. Let's get the guys to batter down the main gates. And now we should have access to the main keep, so um, hopefully this will be this mission uh, fairly shortly. So, our gates are battered down. What do we do now? Now we get the swordsmen, and we're going to march these guys just straight through the, uh, the enemy's gates now. We'll just uh, throw them right on in there. Let's see whether or not one of our uh, Arabic swordsmen are worth like five of these guys. No, they were fairly close though. I think this will be a more fair test for now the archers are helping out. How can we help? And would you look at that? Preparing. Right, so there goes the walls. Now let's see whether or not we can try to focus down like individual guys with catapults. No, Set that's not going touch. well. But you never know. Hey, that was close. Ah, oh, that went right through him. So I guess these things can't actually hit people, which is kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, in that case, we might as well break down the other crap around here. And these guys are just still slow boating over here. But as soon as they come through, we'll try to get these guys onto uh, onto the walls, pretty much. So that'll be that. You need something? And these guys are just wow, really, really slow. We are under attack. Looks like this is going to be a battle between our uh, swordsmen and their pikemen over here, though. It's going to hold up our siege forces here. At least we managed to catch those archers. Because I think the game is programmed so that they go through that door. Yeah, from the looks of it, it looks like they're programmed to go through that little gate. And with that said, they were just butchered right there. So, right, we managed to get rid of them. Uh, we might as well just sick our swordsmen to go forwards just like that. And I'll get some of these archers to come behind them. As more or less support units to follow up their initial like push here. There we go. Archer's gonna come behind here. 
Hopefully they'll just mass volley things. Not really mass volley, but volley things down as they go along. That's one archer gone. Well done, your magnificence. We have nearly driven the infidels back into the sea. And there we go, swordsman are gauged. Let's get these guys to come right to the back here. Oh, apparently you can't go through there. That's fine. It's kind of a satisfying kill right there. But either way, I think that'll be the enemy's uh, lord gone just like that. And that should be good. We are victorious, sire. So, uh, that's first mission, so the new campaign finished, and would you look at that, we killed 200 some of their troops. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, of the Let's Play series, and, well, I guess we'll just be back next time for another, uh, episode just like that. And would you look at that, the army of Halley's just, uh, just fun all over the place. So, um, yeah, bye-bye till then.